What's up guys? It's Wally. Today we're going to be doing some battles with the power of Eternatus. So I know typically back in Sword Shield when people ran Eternatus, a lot of them went with more like a bulky build that also had something like Cosmic Power, as well as Recover to be out there and kind of stall turns out. However, that's not to say that it can't be used as a really strong special attacker as well. With a base 145 special attack, it is extremely strong, and with Meteor Beam and the ability to put the Power Herb on it, to be able to get that plus one when you use the Meteor Beam is extremely beneficial. That increases your, obviously, special attack, and that means that the Dynamax Cannon and that Sludge Bomb hit extremely hard. Now, obviously, if you're running Cosmic Power on it, you know how much bulk this thing has. It's got that 140 base HP, and I think it's a base 90 for defense and special defense, so you have some pretty good bulk naturally in it. Uh, this one does have more in its special attack and HP, and with a little bit in speed as well, so it doesn't necessarily have as much bulk as a Cosmic Power one. However, with that strong special attack and that power herb, you're going to be knocking things out before you even need to think about going with like a recover. And again, Dynamax Hand is great into the Dragon type Pokemon, Sludge Bomb great into Fairy types, and again, that Meteor Beam is great into Fire type Pokemon. Flying type Pokemon, think about like Tornadus, even potentially something like Incineroar as well. So again, it's not that Meteor Beam is necessarily just there for that special attack boost, but it's going to have some really great utility into a lot of common mons as well. So I think Eternus is going to be a lot of fun here. I'm excited to use it with that Power Herb. I've heard a couple of people use something like this before, so I wanted to build one myself and see if we can make it work. So we'll get into some battles, but before we do, as always, if you guys are new here, just have a chat, please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like too. Let's get into the battles. Well, looks like we got a couple of uh, restricted Pokemon to worry about here, including one that is not even available. So, um, we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. Here's what we're going to end up doing. I think we're going to actually go Tornadus and Backscalibur, and then we're going to have Eternatus and... Honestly, let's go Chi Yu. Chi Yu's gonna be good even with the dark move, too. Uh, that'll be good even against like Lugia or something. So, at least we had that in the back pocket. Um, just in case we end up changing the weather to like, um, to rain. Um, or if we feel like we have to. But if not, and they still have the sun up, you know. Alright. Not too bad. I'm assuming they're going to terrestrialize into fire, though. Um, let's go for the Tailwind. I'm going to go with the Icicle Spear over there. I want to get rid of Whimsicott. Plus, I think that they're going to not terrestrialize into... Okay. Okay, my bad. I should have called that earlier, but at least we're going to get rid of Whimsicott, which is a really big issue, in all honesty. So let's get rid of them. Yep, just two hits. Goodbye. No Encore, no Future Tailwind, no Changing Weather, anything like that. So we're good. And you're going to go with... Okay. Question is, who's next? Charizard, yep. Looks like we're changing the weather. Sorry, Chi Yu. Uh, so let's go Rain Dance. Let's go Icicle Spear over into Groudon. I really do want to bring. Uh, I think we're going to end up bringing Eternatus out on the next one. Especially if we get rid of Groudon right here. That'd be just. That'd be perfect. Perfect, yeah. We're going to take them out for sure. Okay, good. Yeah, we're going to take him out for sure. Mm. Uh, hold on now. That's okay. Okay, so maybe not, but um, we'll be fine. Tornado survives. I'm happy with that. Let's go Bleak Wind, and uh, I'm going to bring out Eternatus on this one. I know, we're going to get Dragon Pulsed, but in all honesty, I, I think that uh, Eternatus can deal with it. I mean, especially if Bexcalibur was able to, I think that Eternatus will too. 
That'll be good. Then we can end up using, like, uh, Dragon Pulse on the... Or not Dragon Pulse. Uh, uh, Dynamax Cannon on the next one. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're terrestrializing on the next one for sure. Good stuff. Speed drop. Oh, they did it over there. Fair. Okay. Well, now we're definitely... Definitely, uh, terrestrializing. Alright, we're gonna go out with Chi Yu because that's gonna help us out a little bit as well because, again, we'll get the special, uh, special defense, uh, drop on everyone and obviously that'll help out quite a bit. So let's go with the Dark Pulse over there. And let's terrestrialize and let's go for the Meteor Beam. Actually, no, I know, it's probably smarter to go with the Dark Pulse there. Especially since we should have the speed. Let's go with the Meteor Beam right there. I'm guessing that is going to be their Dragonmon. Yeah, we made the right choice. Yeah. Alright, well... We should, unless they're Scarf, which I would doubt... We should end up going first because we're Scarf, we both have Tailwind up and everything like that. So, I think we're going to be fine from that perspective. Um, and then we should outspeed there too because they have a speed drop. Yeah, Dark Pulse, goodbye Dragon Pulse. And then now... Well, they may end up going first. No, no, because the speed drop, hello. My bad. We'll outspeed. Meteor Beam, let's get that. Let's proc that Power Herb. Let's get that plus one. Let's do the uh, Meteor Beam and hope it hits over into Charizard. That's a 4x effective move. We didn't even need the plus one, but there we go. We just knocked out about five Charizards. And we knocked out all the Charizards from uh, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. And Heart, or not Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Hello, that's Gen 2. Uh, Fire, Red, Leaf, Green. I need to go back and play those games, man. Well, the sun's back out. Let's swap out into Backscalibur, just so Eternatus can finish this right here. And let's go Dynamax Cannon. I really want to see that uh, that animation. Because it is just a fantastic animation, man. All right, let's see it. Oh, we do go first, too. It makes sense. It is a pretty fast mod, so... And we definitely didn't need all of that... Uh, all that damage for sure, but still happy we got it. I will say, still a really cool animation for Dynamax Cannon, but definitely took a step down from Sword Shield. Either way, though, it still allowed us to get a victory, so I'm pretty happy with it. Good game. Uh-oh, now not only do we have Maridon here, but we also have to deal with Swampert. Uh, it's going to be a little rough from a uh, ground perspective, but um, I guess that's what Rillaboom's going to be for. So here's what we're going to end up doing, is I think we're going to go Tornadus along with... Let's actually go Tornadus and let's go with Eternatus to start, why not? We'll bring Rillaboom and let's finish off with... I'm a little tempted to go back Scalibur, but in all honesty, I feel like Chi Yu might be the better option. Um. Nah, you know what? Let's go back Scalibur. Why not? The Ice is going to be good against a couple of them. We have the priority with the Ice Shard, and if we couple that with the priority with the Grassy Glide, we might be able to take out something like Fluttermane and one with just priority. So, good options there. Nice Suicune. Love it. Alright, so let's see who they have to start off with. They're going Torn, they go going Chi Yu and Flutter. They're going to Moongus and Swampert. Alright. Um Alright, here's what we're gonna end up doing. Um I think we're gonna go for the taunt over there. Don't know if I really want to start off with a Terra, in all honesty. Um, but that might be our best option to avoid a ground move. 
And I honestly think that might be most important here. Yeah, you know what? Let's terrestrialize in dark. And let's go for a meteor beam over there too. That's gonna allow us to get the plus one and do some damage just in case they, uh, I don't know. I mean, we're gonna have to take them out at some point, so may as well do some damage now, right? But again, that plus one's gonna be pretty helpful, especially if we have to, um... Okay, good. But yeah, uh, especially if we have to uh, use something like a Dynamax Cannon, so one of these two on the next turn, too. And that might not be great, considering the fact that they may have Flutter in the back, but... But... Perfect. That's perfect. Huh. Alright, let's go. We're gonna get the Taunt. They won't be able to do anything like that in the next turn. And we'll also get the Meteor Beam over there too to get the plus one. Just gotta hope that we hit. And if we can do half, I will be extremely happy. Nice. Beautiful. Love to see that. Ooh, they're Black Sludge. Okay. Cool. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to go with the Bleak Wind. I'm a little worried to go with a, a Dragon move over there, but I'm going to do it anyways. Let's, we just have to hope that they don't end up bringing in uh, Fluttermane into that slot. Either way, at least we'll have a flying move going over into both these. Um, we just gotta hope to hit both. So let's see, Clive, what you gonna do, buddy? What you gonna do? Curious what Terra Swampert is. Also kinda curious what move they might have that might be super effective. Um, yeah, and the fact that Terrastalize in the Dark means that they may bring in... Fluttermain, but I would imagine if they did, it would be into a Moongus' slot, because now that they're Rage or not Rage Powder, pardon me, now that they're Taunted, they're not going to be able to go with the Spore, they're not going to be able to go with the Rage Powder. They got the Double Protect on Swampert? Oh, boy. Okay, that's rough. Please hit the Bleak Wind. Thank you. Thankfully, that takes out a Moongus. Okay. So let's see who they end up bringing out next, then. Again, I'm a little worried about a potential Flutter main here. In which case, we would have to end up terrestrializing. Um, or not terrestrializing, part of me, putting the Tailwind up. And then we would have to essentially ignore Swamper, unfortunately. But let's see, who's it going to be? Why do I feel like they're, like, AFK right now? And they're, like, first move on Swampert is Protect. Alright, well, at least we'll get to see who they ended up picking third, right? Again, I'm a little worried that, that might be Fluttermane, but... We'll find out here in just a moment. Should be less than that, though, because we've been waiting for quite some time now. Let's end up seeing... Now again, I wonder what type of, uh, I wonder what type of Terra they would have on. Oh, okay, good, it's just, just gonna be, uh, Chi Yu. We can deal with that. Here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with a, uh, Rain Dance on this. No, we probably shouldn't do that. Should just go with the Tailwind. And, uh, we're just gonna go with the Dynamax Cannon over into Chi Yu. Again, I'm a little more worried about Chi Yu than I am of Swampert. So, uh, let's end up doing that. And if we see them protect again on this one, we'll know that, uh, we'll know that they're AFK. Um, that'd actually be funny if they got the triple protect on that, too. That'd be funny. I think I've only, I think we've only had it once where we've gotten, or we've seen someone get a triple protect. Um, I forgot what video that was in, but that was, that was really interesting. I'm gonna have to look back at that. Uh, either way, 
chances of getting a three in a row protect. So basically your first one obviously is free, the second one is one third, and then the third one is one, uh, one ninth. So basically it's um, basically one over three to the nth power where one starts on the second protect, if that makes sense. Or I guess zero would be the first protect. Either way, let's get some serious damage here. We'll get the Dynamax Cannon. Oh, we get Chiyu down to pretty much it's not quite... Well, I guess they don't have Sash. But I was going to say, pretty much the Sash, but no, that is nothing there. That's fine. Let's go with the Bleak Wind here. And uh, let's go with the uh, Dynamax Cannon over to Swampert this time. And let's see if we can really finish him off here. Again, as long as we actually hit the uh, the Bleak Wind Storm, we're going to be in a really good spot to obviously knock out Chiyu. We'll take Swampert down just um, hopefully about half, something like that. And then the Dynamax Cannon will end up coming in to clean it up. Then again, I'm assuming that their last bond is going to be uh, Fluttermane. So, we'll, uh, well, we do have the speed because of the Tailwind and everything, so it's not like that's going to be a problem, but either way, we should be fine here, though. Oh, although they're not going to, they're actually going to get a Protect this time if they go for it because the last one failed. Alright, that's fine. We'll end up taking out Chiyu, though. I hope. Hold on now. Oh, thank you. Okay, good. That worried me a little bit. You know, with the Bleak Wind accuracy, very rarely do we actually get those hits. Especially uh, not on Bolt, so... By the way, I love that right now on the uh, on the screen. It looks like uh, Eternatus doesn't even have a head or anything. It looks like it's just the crown because of the way that it's uh, positioned. Uh, which I think is hilarious, too. Um, but either way, let's see Fluttermane. Let's see uh, what we're going to have to deal with here. And let's probably go with the uh, Sludge Bomb over there to knock it out. Especially at plus one. It should be fine. But again, we'll see in about 50 seconds now. Because I think the turn timer to select your Pokemon... I think is like 60 seconds, so that would make sense. Anyway, how you guys doing today? Sorry, I, I wish I could give you more riveting uh, like commentary here. Uh, if the game was a little more fast-paced, but obviously since, you know, it's not right now because it seems like they're AFK. Um, I know, not much to talk about here, but... Oh, it's Tornadus! Okay, cool. That's actually interesting. Alright, so let's go with the Bleak Wind Storm on this one. And let's go with the Dynamax Cannon down into Swampert. We know they're going to get a Protect, but the chance of them getting two double Protects pretty much in a row... Nah, man. I don't trust that. Either way, I would assume that their first move is going to be Tailwind with... Uh, uh, with Tornado, so... We're going to see that first for sure, but again, we should outspeed then because Ornatus is going to be faster and then so should be, um, or so should Eternatus. But again, I mean, this just shows how strong Eternatus is, man. Almost ended up taking out, uh, Chi Yu on its own right there with that Dynamax Cannon. Wasn't even a super effective move. We were plus one, so I guess take that with a grain of salt, but at the same time, too. Still, a, a ton of damage into Chi Yu. Uh, I just hope we can actually hit Swampert here, because it'd be nice for them not to get a Protect, but... Snowscape! Interesting! I actually kind of like that. I wonder which one of them uh, is, is Ice Terror or something, I guess. I don't think they had an Ice Mon on their team. Let me make sure, though. I can't believe Swampert got another contact. Um, no, so that just means that one of them has to be like an Ice Terror or something. Either way though, what do we have? Yeah, we still have one more Tailwind. We'll be fine. Let's go Bleak Wind again. 
Let's go Dynamax Cannon again because we know that they're more than likely not going to get the triple protect. That's the hope at least. And question is, do we end up taking out Swampert? My gut feeling is yes. Um, if we miss the bleak wind, maybe, maybe not. But at the same time, I'm kind of curious to see what kind of damage we're actually going to get from that. Especially a plus one into something that's not Chi Yu. Either way, we'll see here. I'll be honest with you, I... I sorry, now I'm, I'm changing topics here to Shinies. Swampert Shiny is actually pretty nice. It looks really nice, but I still prefer, like, the original look to it. Good. Not a triple protect. Let's go. They go Snowscape again. Here comes the Bleak Wind. We hit both. We knock out Tornadus. Just kidding. No, we don't. But we do get the Dynamax Cannon over there. And please knock out, just so we don't have to see them double protect again. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And now all we have to do is take out their Tornadus. And in all honesty, I want Eternatus to finish this one. So let's go into Baxcalibur and let's go with the Sludge Bomb and let's finish this off in style. Yeah, I don't think I could have taken another turn or two of watching Swampert go for a Protect. So, very happy that that's not going to be the case here and we're just going to see a Snowscape and a, uh, obviously, our swap out here too. Either way, Good game for Eternatus, despite the fact that it's not like it really had to worry about much. I mean, all we did was take a neutral hit on the Heat Wave, and you saw that we tanked that pretty well. And that's even coming from Chi Yu, which, you know, again, with its ability, actually lowers the special defense. So the fact that we tanked that so well is actually pretty impressive. So, again, okay. Eternatus has some pretty good bulk. 140 HP is incredible. Uh, the 90 in both the defense and special defense. It's got great speed, great special attack. Um, so good. Even though it is dragon and poison, which, don't get me wrong, is really great from a... Um, I guess from a weakness perspective, you know, it, it uh, resists all of the elementals. It's going to end up resisting, um, you know, fighting and, and stuff like that as well. That's great. Um, it makes Fairy into a neutral hit, which is good too. But again, you do kind of have to worry about what it be Ice, Ground, Psychic because of the Poison, and Dragon as well. So, again, to have some kind of terror to deal with that would be extremely nice, um, which is great. But again, with all that bulk and everything, it, it just makes it a great Pokemon to have. And again, I understand the typing. You have a handful of weaknesses that are pretty common. But at the same time, you can terrestrialize away from it. And again, you have the bulk to deal with it. You can always go something with Cosmic Power and Recover too. But we'll talk about that next game. Either way, we end up picking up with the win with Eternatus. Very good game. Well, looks like we have a dreaded, dreaded Trick Room team, unfortunately. So here's what we're going to end up doing. Um, we kind of know that we're going to be getting a... Um, yeah... We're going to end up, unfortunately, taking a um, final gambit. But here's what we're going to end up doing. We're going to start these two. We're going to bring Rillaboom. And... I kind of want to go Tornadus for weather, in all honesty, but is that really the right call? I say probably not. However, we do have Taunt on them, too, and that would be good into, like, a Moongus. Hmm... You know what? I'm going to go back Scalibur. I think they're going to be good as an additional attacker, too. Um, and something that's good into Amoongus would be good into potentially uh, Blood Moon or Saluna. So we'll, we'll figure this out as it comes. Question is, who do they lead? Yep. Okay, makes sense. So we're going to go Chi Yu Eternatus, which means we're going to end up Terrastalizing. 
into Ghost. And we're going to Protect. Regardless, I think we have enough HP on Eternatus to be able to survive. So in all honesty, we're going to Terrastalize into Ghost. Terrastalize into Ghost. Well, we know we're going to take them out. So let's Terrastalize into Ghost. Let's go with the Dark Pulse. And let's go... Let's go with the Sludge Bomb. Annihilate gets taken out by the final Gambit right here. I'm assuming over into Eternatus. The good thing about that is the fact that, again, it's got such a high HP stat that we're going to be able to withstand that. So we're going to stay in there. We're going to get two hits over on Ndidi. And they're not going to know what hit them. Or they just go into Chiyu and they don't get the hit. Perfect. And now, goodbye. Their Trick Room Setter is now gone. And now all we have to deal with is a potential final gambit uh, over into um, Eternatus on this next one. That's okay. Ooh, question is, do they protect... Or do they just swap out? Or do they protect with their Saluna and go with a Final Gambit on Annihilate? Do they still go Final Gambit on Annihilate and go with a Hyper Voice? Or do they swap out Annihilate and do something with their Saluna? We'll find out. Give me just a moment here. We'll we'll figure this out for sure. Um. So let's go Dark Pulse over there. I'm thinking about going Sludge Bomb over into Annihilate, just in case they swap into uh, to Hatterene here. Instead, I'm going to go Dynamax Cannon down into Ursaluna. That's going to be a normal Terra. Got you. I know they're still going to Final Gambit. Normal Terra makes sense. They still have to go for the Final Gambit because they're locked into that with the Choice Scarf. That's going to go over there. That's fine. We're going to survive with like 30. 22. My bad. Annihilate goes down. And now we get the Dark Pulse, which get, takes it down to half. And now Dynamax Cannon, which takes it down to zero. There we go. We actually could have went for the Meteor Beam on that one, but I really didn't want to miss. Because we knew we were going to end up taking out... Um, uh, Annihilate on that one because it took itself out with the final gambit, and we knew we had to take out our Saluna. There we go. Now, question is, who is this last one? Is it Hatterene or is it Torkoal? And as a matter of fact, really doesn't matter who it is because all of that answers the question. Uh, because they're really weak to the um, the special attacks, and even if uh, it was like Hatterene, we have the Sludge Bomb to be able to KO. Let's go with the Meteor Beam this time. Why not? Ah, oh, dang. I really want to see that again. Not bad, though. Uh, again, the fact that we have enough HP with Eternatus where the Final Gambit isn't going to KO us is really, really great. That allowed us to kind of go in and double on the Ndidi just in case they ended up terrestrializing and were able to take out their Trick Room Setter before they were able to take or put Trick Room up. So, again, great sequence of events right there, and we came out with a win. Good game. Ooh, now we got a couple of really tough things here to deal with. Um, obviously, the ground on Eternatus is going to be extremely difficult, uh, so we might actually have to use that as our Terra. Um, either way, we'll be alright. So let's start Tornadus. Let's go Eternatus. Gonna bring back Scalibur, honestly, for no other reason than uh, the fact that they do have uh, Landorus. Probably not the best reasoning. Um, and let's actually go... Honestly, should probably go with Chiyu. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with Rillaboom. I think that might be smarter. 
Plus, again, we'd be able to change terrain, and that would be really good to stop things like the uh, expanding force as well. However, with Eternatus, uh, we do have the Dark Terror, which is extremely nice, which means that we're going to ignore the expanding force. So we might have to do that if that's who we see right here with Ndidi. It is not. We have Torn and Urshifu, which means we do not, I repeat, do not have to Terrastalize right away. And that is extremely, extremely nice. So let's go with that Tailwind. And let's go with that Meteor Beam up into Tornadus. Let's get to that plus one. And we'll know that we don't have to really worry about Rapid Strike Urshifu. We resist the water again. We resist the water. We resist the fighting. We're in a really, really good spot with them. I think they're terrestrializing into water just to knock out Tornadus on this next one, though. And the good thing, too, is assuming we do survive with Eternatus, if they ended up bringing the um, Calyrex, which I don't know why they wouldn't, um, uh, they won't be able to terrestrialize into... Oh, that's not good. They won't be able to terrestrialize into... Uh, fairy to be able to go with a really strong draining hit. So, feel good about that. Come on, Eternatus. Hit and KO, buddy. I trust. Come on. Let's go. This should KO. Goodbye. Appreciate that. The other positive, too, is we have the Tailwind. They do not. Oh yeah, I wonder if that actually KOs. Yeah, that uh, would have taken out a second uh, Tornadus as well. That's alright. They're locked into that, and now we have Rillaboom, which... I think might be the right call. I'm a little worried because if they bring out Calyrex on this next one... That's why I should have waited. Because indeed he was going to be in the back. Right. Now I will say the big positive here is the fact that we're both going to resist that. Which means they're probably going to end up taking out... Um, uh, Urshifu for Calyrex here. So let's go for the wood hammer over there. And let's go with the sludge bomb over into Indeedee. I should have terrestrialized. Okay. Not great. Only because I forgot to terrestrialize into dark. And also the fact that they're going to set up Trick Room. But that's okay. You know why? It's because we have Terra. And we have that Dark Terra. And that's going to be a huge help. I know you might be a reliable partner, but... No, not today. Not today, Satan. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I, I honestly think that getting the terrain back is going to be pretty important. Um, so let's do that. Let's go into the dark. Um, let's go for the Dynamax Cannon. Yeah, may as well. They're probably going to redirect it anyways, but even so, I, I think we're going to be fine here. Baxcalibur can handle this. And again, being able to get the priority back means that we're going to be able to get... Or not the priority. Being able to get terrain back means that we can get priority back. And that means we can go with the Grassy Glide despite the fact that uh, there is a... Um, yeah, a Trick Room up. It's fine. We're going to be able to survive this Astral Barrage. Mainly because... Oh! Even better! I'm sorry! Yeah, we don't take any damage. Let's go. Um, uh, we don't take any damage with uh, Baxcalibur. Or, um, Eternatus, pardon me. Baxcalibur's dead. Don't get me wrong. But we're fine with... With... With, um, uh, with Eternatus. And we almost KO right there. That's some beautiful damage. And let's go. Now we got Rilla... Where we end up changing terrain. Which is great. Uh, we can end up going for the fake out over there. And let's go for the... Um, let's go Dynamax Cannon one more time. Main reason for the fake out is just so they can't go for 
to follow me, and we were going to get some damage over there anyways. So there we go. Able to actually take them out, and despite the fact that they got the Trick Room up when we had the Tailwind up, still end up coming out with the win. Good game. So talk about some good damage with Eternatus. And when you're able to get that plus one to your special attack with the Meteor Beam and that Power Herb, that just makes Dynamax Cannon and Sludge Bomb so much stronger. And again, having Sludge Bomb out there to be able to do super effective damage, especially into Fairy Type Mons, the Dragon with the Dynamax Cannon into Dragon Mons, and of course, again, that Meteor Beam, especially being great into something like Incineroar, is extremely nice too. And having something like Pressure as your ability is good too, because a lot of Pokemon run uh, some moves that have something like a 5pp or a 10pp, which max becomes 8 or 16. And if it's 8, that means they're only going to be able to get four off if you keep Eternatus out there. So it's a great way to kind of stall out their uh, their PP on a lot of their stronger moves. Uh, and even though a lot of people I know run something like the Cosmic Power and Recover on their Eternatus, I still think that you can have some really good utility with the Power Herb to get that plus one to the special attack and just kind of go out there and try to sweep everything. So again, Eternatus is a lot of fun. Again, I think the Cosmic Power Recover might be a little bit better, but still going with the Meteor Beam and the Power Herb can still be a really viable strategy. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the battles. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. We'll see you guys next time.